Recently at the White House, the vice president spoke at the first ever graduation of a violence intervention academy. And among the graduates, a very impressive young man from right here in Central Florida. Yeah, Rayshon Brown is planning to take what he learned through this program and apply it here. New Six's Brian Didlake spoke with him about his goal to get results. I was just thinking about all the people that that sacrifice to help me get there. Jones High School grad Rayshon Brown tells me that's what was going through his mind after graduating from a violence prevention training program in Washington, D.C. Community work, and in particular violence intervention, is about investing in the community. Vice President Kamala Harris joined community leaders from across the country last week at the White House to honor the first graduates of the University of Chicago Crime Lab's Community Violence Intervention Leadership Academy. Rashawn Brown. Brown, one of those graduates. Speaking of the program itself, what did you learn from it? One of the biggest thing I, things I learned, understanding your city's ecosystem. What can everybody in that community offer to the violence prevention space, whether that's local businesses with jobs and providing jobs so that those same dollars could be spent back in that same community. Brown tells me this has been crucial for his work here in Orlando. Peace Orlando, a gun violence prevention program under the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition, aims to impact different neighborhoods in Orlando. They are located in five areas so far. Paramore, Holden Heights, Carver Shores, Mercy Drive, and Rosemont. This is targeted intervention. This is saying, hey, the individuals that we identify may be at risk or the highest of at risk of being the shooter of being shot. Just this past month, Orlando saw at least two fatal shootings. One man died after being shot in a parking garage downtown in early January, and later that month, another man was killed and one injured in a Mercy Drive apartment complex. And we want to meet those people where they at. Brown says that's the goal, meet those affected by gun violence, provide resources, and inspire others, no matter where you come from. I think um, it's important for us to unapologetically be ourselves and still strive for greatness and greatness will find us. Now, Peace Orlando's intervention program is set to expand sometime next year by adding three additional neighborhoods. And as Brown said, this work that he is doing needs the help of the entire community, which is why the city is encouraging more people to volunteer for programs like this. You can find more information about that on our website at clickorlando.com. But for now, we are here in Orlando. Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6. You know, some of the communities they highlighted were un they're underserved communities. Yeah. And I like that he talked about learning about the ecosystem of a community because that all matters. It, it's all interconnected. So congratulations to him. Absolutely. Seems like a program that certainly can't hurt. No, it yeah. can't.